Well, boys, it's an early morning, and we're back out here at the landscaping business. Now, we already got the truck loaded up, ready to head out to a new property we just bought way up in the mountains. Basically, I was looking around online, and I found this old abandoned cabin, along with a bunch of stuff there that had, uh, well been abandoned i ended up buying it only seeing the pictures so we're gonna head down there check it out do some work on the place and uh hopefully have it be our new vacation spot by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video help me out by giving that like button a little tap it helps out the video a ton and i appreciate it so much and while you're down there if you're not subscribed yet subscribe and helps make videos just like this so if you want to see more you know that button's down there too anyway we're gonna get out on the road here so I'll see you guys once we get a little closer. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hey you, you better listen up because this video is sponsored by NordVPN. With Nord, safety comes first. No matter if you use your home internet or public Wi-Fi, well, it's pretty vulnerable. Network can be reached by hackers if you're not using a VPN, so your data can be stolen, and well, nobody wants that. But Austin, what else can Nord do for me? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's say you want to watch a certain show, but it's not available in your country. With a few quick clicks of Nord and boom, you're in another country and you now have access to that show. With Nord, virtual restrictions are a thing of the past that grants you access to view games and other shows or content that would otherwise be blocked in your country not to mention it helps avoid ddos attacks that significantly slow down your internet connection so what are you waiting for nordvpn is totally risk-free thanks to its 30-day money-back guarantee so there's literally no reason not to try it out so if you want to be protected while using the internet and make geo restrictions a thing of the past go to nordvpn.com farmer via the link on screen or in the description down below with code farmer of course thanks to the north for sponsoring anyway back to the video well boys this is the turn off and uh from what i'm told it's a long drive up anyways on our way up i ended up stopping at an equipment store and grabbing some new tools for the skid steer a bucket and a claw so hopefully that helps out a little bit anyway since i'm told the house down there is not livable i have my buddy bringing out a camper for me that way i can stay down there work on the property because we're gonna be out there for a couple weeks getting everything perfect man this road is looking a little sketchy but it should hopefully work now there's a town about 45 minutes away from where we just came onto the trail so if we need anything we can always rip down there but uh i'm hoping we can stay at the cabin most of the time oh boy this is steep this would not be fun to drive to in the winter i imagine if you weren't pulling a trailer though you might be all right i think that's it right down there oh boy we're going off the road well here we are this is it okay well this place actually doesn't look too bad i guess we better take a look around my buddy should be here with the camper in about 20 minutes so uh while we're waiting for him may as well uh see what we all bought here so it's right lake slash riverside i think it's uh oh shoot i can't remember the name of the river but it leads right into a lake so the lake's not too far away from here but we got a nice dock going out here um it looks like it might be a little little old but i'm sure we could probably redo something there i don't really know the whole story on this property but it's pretty old and uh has definitely seen some better days and basically my plan with this place is to clean a lot of this junk out probably this cabin i mean it looks decent from the outside but it's all about what's inside and if it's not uh good it's coming down looks like we got a woodshed here a couple things an old boat some pallets all that junk what's in here nada i guess this is typically where they'd store the wood okay that that's an outhouse already yep we're just gonna leave that there <laughs> i'll check the house out in a minute here but we've got this massive shed right here looks like just a bunch of junk but when i bought the property came with a couple things i think the people that originally owned this place were trying to almost homestead it a little bit but uh yeah they must have failed looks like we've got an old dodge first gen wow this thing's this is actually in really nice condition and it's a crew cab which is a little strange i don't see those very often obviously this was a bush truck but for a bush truck it looks in really good condition off-road tires big bumpers light bars yeah definitely a bush truck there i guess we might try lower that lift and see if we can get it running today looks like we got an old snowmobile of course once you're uh down here in winter kind of hard to get in and get out so snowmobile is probably the best way to do that looks like just an old trailer here we'll check that out later an old log trailer this thing's actually pretty cool i'll get you firewood that's for sure i don't even know what year this this is but it's an old john deere 675b little skid steer i'm not entirely sure how long all of this stuff has been sitting for so it could be two years three years one year it it's not very clear an old dirt bike that's actually 
Huh, cool. And an old bear quad. Okay, so obviously this was some degree of a homestead. I don't think it was anything too crazy, but still, it's a really, really nice property. And I think with a little bit of work, maybe getting rid of this house, I still got to go in there and check it out. But maybe if I get rid of this house, clean some things up, it could be looking pretty cool. I'm going to go check in the house and uh, see how it is. All right, so I just checked out the house and uh, yeah, no, this thing is coming down. It is bad in there, which is kind of a shame because it's cool old log cabin, but yeah. No, that thing is coming down. Anyway, my buddy just got here with his camper. Looks like he's getting that all set up inside, which is sweet because then I'll have a place to stay and I'm not going to have to stay in my truck or stay in, in that. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm going to try get this truck off the lift and see if I can get it running. Depends how long it's been sitting for, but I should be able to get it running pretty easily. Okay, so we got the skid steer unloaded and uh, we got the truck out of the shed. Now I just got to uh, pop the hood, toss a fresh battery in it, get some new diesel in it, check, make sure everything else is good and hopefully it'll fire up. Okay, I think we might be good to try uh, start this thing. And what do you know? It's a stick shift too. Even better. Oh, it's close. Oh, okay. Pump the gas a couple times here. Oh, we're going. She's running. We're driving. Would you look at that? Looks like this thing's on air too. Where's the switch for that? Down here. Just open up the door. I think we're, oh yeah, it's moving. Look at that. Full air ride. Okay, now I kind of question if this was an actual bush truck, if it's got air ride in it. That is cool. Rolls cold too. Oh man. One sweet truck though. That is for sure. Got one heck of a suspension on it. Try out the flex on this. Oh yeah. That's got a bit. That's about the max she can go. Heck yeah. Well, I can't complain about that, I guess. This is pretty sweet. Heck of a truck to just leave down here. Okay, so we got my buddy's Duramax here. We got some booster cables, and we're gonna try to fire this thing up. We drained all the old diesel out, got some fresh stuff in, So who knows? We might have a second skid steer for the job. Okay, if all goes well, are we running? Heck yeah, we are. Hydraulics still work. Well, dang, I'm impressed. Yeah, everything seems good on this. A little laggy, but that could just be the hydraulic pump. Dang, it actually lifts pretty high. Hold on, I gotta see something quick. Oh, it, it's... It's still going only slightly higher. All right, good stuff. Let me just get a quick survey of the land here on top of my two skid steers. Okay, so I don't have any gasoline, so I don't really feel like trying to start these two toys with uh, bad gas in them. So we're just going to leave those for now until I head back into town, grab some gasoline. But I'd say not too bad of a find down here. Got a solid skid steer, a solid truck, a couple little toys. But what I'm thinking for this property is we're going to tear down this house since it's not the greatest. We're going to get rid of this outhouse. And if we can, I don't know if it's going to be possible. Try to scoot this building over. I mean, I've never moved a building before, so that'll be a first. Redo this whole dock area. And luckily, the town that's not too far away from here has a good materials supplier. So hopefully, we should be able to get a house built down here. Nothing too crazy, just something enough to uh, where it's nice to come down here and stay for a couple weeks in the winter or summer. Because, yeah, I can't imagine that house is going to be very nice in the winter. So it is coming down. Anyway, it's just about the end of the day here. So I am going to uh, set up the barbecue house have some supper and crash for the rest of the night in the camper and then tomorrow we'll get to work on some awesome demolition thanks again to nord for sponsoring hope you all enjoyed subscribe and goodbye